Hi there. Um, another one of how to do uh, rigging with bones and morphs and lip sync and those sort of things. Um, rather than actually sculpting your model with new uh, new head targets, you could use bones to do things. So let's let's have a look at that. Um, what we've got here in the scene currently, we've got. Um, a bone and the plane is a mouth, so we'll just go and name that mouth. That'd be a lot easier. Oh, quite lips actually. Lips. There we go. Okay, and this is the mouth bone. So the mouth bone is a spline shape. Okay, um, and what we've got going on here, if you look at the the lips themselves, you'll see that under skin, the bone we're using to deform the skin, which is this lips shape here, is the spline line, which is we've called the mouth bone. Okay, so if I sl select the mouth bone, what I've done is I've cloned this spline line uh, four more times. So I've got the original, which, called which is called mouth bone, and I've got four copies. One of them is called close, one's called ooh, one's called sad, and one's called smile. So what I did before I set all this up, I went through it and loaded up um, each copy of the spline made that the bone that is going to operate um, let me just quickly show you here this, um, so I've got my spline line at the moment so I could go in and select vertex points yeah, and then just move it down and that's going to go and amend my spline line that's going to tie in differently to how this bone is deforming the mesh ok so I'm going to undo that so this is my base one here so what I've got done is I've got several copies of these and um, then I've loaded them up as morph targets so um, I can go through this and we go to closed and then we go to the U shape yeah and then we go through to the sad shape and then we'll go through to the uh, happy or smile shape yeah, and then we back down to where we were in the beginning so we've got all these different shapes I'm sure you can mix and match them so we can have um, got an U happening here but I can add a bit of a smile to it as well yeah so we, we, you don't have to have um, uh, morph target head shapes to make this work. You could do it with bones if you wanted to. And we're just using one bone, which is one spline line. And um, then we go and unhide all the spline lines so we can have a quick look. So, morph targets. There we go. So, what we've got here doesn't it look messy. So, let's uh, get the original. Let's actually let's go through a few of these things. Let's go put it in front view and we'll dial it back a bit. So, all I've really got, as you can see, this they're sort of going to these different shapes. Yeah, so that's the U shape. That's a sad shape. And that's a happy shape. Yeah, pretty simple, really. So all we need to do is um, all that I've done. So we're going to make a new mouth shape then. So let's go and select the skin here. Let's go to skin. So it's got a mouth bone at the moment. We're going to go and remove that. So nothing happens now. So all these this spline line deforms, but the the mesh doesn't follow because it hasn't got any bones in anymore. Okay, let's go and select um, the mouth bone. And we're going to go and uh, invert, uh, invert a selection and recall with that pop. And we want to get rid of lips as that. Okay. So with everything's selected. I'm just going to go and hide everything. So we're left with the original. Let's go and uh, delete all these keys off this as well. Delete that. So we've got the original um, spline shape. Okay. I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go to clone. Clone it. And we're going to call this. I don't know, we're going to call this smirk yeah, smirk I'm going to say it's a copy, not an instance or reference but definitely a copy ok, and clone that over right, so, if I go and select my mouth mesh shape look under skin, and I'm going to add smirk so I've added smirk I can then deselect the skin go and select my spline shape called smirk OK, let's go and delete the morpher as well while we're at it. I need the morpher on it. Go to vertex points, and now I can grab some vertex points. Yeah, and move them up. Like so. And then move them down. Move them down, like that. OK, so I've got this sort of smirk shape. Here we go. I don't know if this looks like a smirk or not. We'll just say it does for the moment. But yeah, there you go. Some sort of weird and wacky 
smirk shape okay so that's cool now if I go and select this mouth mesh I want to now um, go to skin and remove the smirk so go back to the original alright so now if I go to um, my let's go back into perspective view if I go back to my normal shape of the actual mesh of the lips or whatever you, or the head we were playing with here go to skin add a bone we're going to add the mouth bone okay so let's go over to that so that's cool let's select the mouth bone and we'll just kill the morpher okay and then we'll go and select it again just to make sure we're cool with that mouth bone selected alright go and add a morpher M for morpher and da -da 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 -da, morpher there we go okay and now we can go and add um, load load morph targets I'm just going to add smirk in just for one alright so now we can dial up smirk which is there and that's basically what we're doing how hard is that not that hard as they say okay so simple as that and I can go and sort of um, go back in here and da -da 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 -da. go and load them all, yeah, load them all up Go clunk there we go so now I've got smirk close got an oo working out there one R actually not new and uh, sad so you can sort of mix them out right and click kills them uh, kill that one and we've got a smile and that basically is another way of building and using um, bones as morph targets so again you can use this with um, morph driven uh, plugins such as the voice o -matic. and that's another way of doing it and that children is end of today's teddy bear story so um, see you later ta-ta bye